Hi Iris. So this Monday for you with the fool and seven of wands. Look, might be that you are trying hard to accomplish something which is uh, for reaching, okay? Um, maybe too much, maybe impossible. You've got on your mind, okay, that you can do it and you should do it, in fact. You should do it this way or you should go that place or you should something, okay? And you were ready to put effort and you stop on about it. But maybe, maybe you're just knocking your head on the wall here on Monday. I mean, perhaps it's a... Uh, it's something unusual. Perhaps is is something which you are doing out of spite. Perhaps is something which nobody else would do <laughs> because it's kind of strange or it's weird or or something. Might be a situation like that here on Monday. A bit funny, okay? It's very kind of specific. It's it's very kind of something which you want. Nobody else would do things like that. But you are insisting. Yeah, that. Just like that, I want it. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way, so why not? So what? You know, might be a bit spitey. Um, this Monday, overreaching, insisting on something, which you perhaps should be a bit more thoughtful about. You should put some thoughts in this Monday. Uh, but anyway, it's your Monday, it's your day, it's your life, so you do you do as you like, as you want. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna do it as I want it. Your Monday. Hi Taurus. Knight of Swords for you. Okay, Knight of Swords. Very fast energy, sudden change. Maybe air sign, but look, knights, I don't know, they are bringing situation. Even if person comes, okay, still it's going to be change of situation. We'll bring you some news, something which will surprise you, which will change the situation in one day, in one hour. You thought about doing things this way, or things are happening in this way, or you will communicate with that person in that certain way. But now, situation is changing. Now you know something else. Now Things are different and the change is the thing completely. In that sense, might be a bit fast, a bit, um, how can I put it? Not annoying, anxious, yeah, energy. Whether that's yours or somebody else's, let's see. Um, so, Knight of Swords with the Devil, oh yeah. This, look, you have to be very careful on this day. If you drive, Whatever that you do, this is very fast energy. Whatever that's on your mind, you will be rushing to do it. You won't mind people around you, other situations, other circumstances. I mean, you don't, you won't, you're not going to even see it. You will see that what you want and you will be rushing for it. Madly, careful with the law, careful with substances, with um, cars, with fast driving. You see what I'm saying? This is fast energy. Might make some problem because it's too fast. Perhaps you step on somebody's toes. Um, you find enemies all over you. I mean, you are heading towards something which you are obsessing. This is obsession with something. Okay, if you are going somewhere, you want to go so fast. If you're supposed to travel an hour and a half, you will rush to get there in 55 minutes so you can show to people that you are fastest. You see what I'm saying? Might be something like that as well. Or could be any other situation where you're rushing towards something unnecessarily. I mean, it can cost you dearly. All right, it can cause problem, problem to you. And then another thing also, trying to manipulate people to do some harm intentionally. Knight of Swords goes quickly, cuts the heads off. You might do things intentionally, might harm another intentionally. Okay, that, that's kind of very negative side of this energy. Intentional harm for another. Unexpectedly, you surprised them. They didn't even expect it from you, but you did it because you're going to have some, I don't know, some use of that situation, you're going to have material rewards, you're going to have some money or something, whatever. 
um, that you're gonna have some benefits but it's not pleasant hi Gemini your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by M for the week beginning on Monday the 29th of July so Gemini Queen of Pentacles for you for Monday beautiful energy of very stable person, maybe your mother, maybe your boss, but one who's very caring. Even if it's your boss at work, will care about you, will advise you how to do things, how to progress at work, how to get promotion, you see what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, very grounded, very stable energy, maybe Capricorn, Virgo, um, Taurus person, out there on a Monday, um, and paired with a of Wands, look, might be that you are seeing yourself as such a person because there is idea about what you're gonna be, what you're gonna do. Maybe you are presenting your idea to another who can help you, but then it's idea related maybe to your business, uh, employment, money making. I mean, anyhow, I love this Monday because it brings um, stability to this idea that, that we can just look at it in general brings stability in this idea which you very much like you adore this idea you're so passionate about it you are seeing some prosperity some bright future with that whether that is about person whether that is about business about i don't know whatever that's on your mind something artistic your home your children doesn't matter this energy brings stability brings possibility brings a doability in this idea Okay, very lovely. Might, as I said, might be that it's coming from somebody else. Um, your boss, your mother, Capricorn Virgo Taurus person. Or, as I said, it's just you out there seeing yourself stable now. Now I can stabilize my life. Now I can earn my money. Um, in that sense, very, very stable, very lovely energy. Hi, Cancer. So, yeah. Eight of Pentacles for you, Cancer. Um, uh, I'm gonna draw immediately pairing card, so we can start day by day. So Eight of Wands paired with Six of Wands. You are doing something to make you money. You are going to work every day. You are studying lesson after lesson. Okay, going to pass your exam, something very practical, something important which is supposed to bring you results. Always expectations, always results. So you are making some results, you are making something material. It doesn't need to be money. could be cleaning your home, cleaning your room, you see what I'm saying? But you do want some results visible out there and that's what you do here on Monday. Right, going to work going to work, doing your job to get your salary at the end of the month or so. Now look, with Six of Wands, we can talk about some sort of success. Definitely success. With the Six of Wands, you are visible there with your work, with your qualities. This is you being professional in some career, okay? With some skill, with some knowledge, okay? So, being that we do have this winning card, this winning energy, you being visible, being successful, we are talking success with your career, with your profession, at work, definitely promotion. Now, look, you can elevate your professional skill position in a different way okay it doesn't need to be that you were employed you can do it you can do it at home learning something extra adding to your current skills okay you are professional you're a doctor um, now you will specialize okay or you will add to that knowledge you will add to it and you will be visible or you will be visible with that what you are doing right now it doesn't matter, okay, at the end of the day, but Six of Wands is your visibility, your promotion, your higher level in this profession. That's why I'm talking, you know, adding to it, because it's always this higher level, something you wanted to achieve in your professional, in your profession, in your career, in your day-to-day -day job, in your, I don't know, in your workplace, okay? You wanted to lift it up to a higher level, to get promoted, to get bigger salary, and today you've got it. 
Okay, Cancer, you've got that which you wanted related to your profession, to your workplace. Definitely, definitely talks about promotion like a number one. That is the first thing that we are talking here. But as I said, it is a sort of visible energy. People are admiring you. You can now say, you can show your skill, your knowledge. You will pass your exam. You were expecting to pass your exam, to get promoted, to get increase in your salary. You were expecting it today. Hi, Leo. So this Monday for you with the page of pentacles. Look, this is youthful energy. Might talk about some child. Okay, if you have your children, maybe your child is deciding what to do. Now, want to play guitar or it's going to be piano, want to play soccer or it's going to be basketball. You see what I'm saying? Might be something like that for you, Leo, parents, perhaps. But could also be your energy. Uh, it's paired with three of wands, perhaps is yours. I mean, three of wands is something new which you have started. This is just the beginning. This is so well matching energy, these two, okay? Something which you really like, like to do. This is practical energy. I would love to learn to fix these computers. I would love to learn that. Perhaps you have started something. Perhaps there is information for you related to your money, to your business, to your career. That's what we are talking here. Money, business, career. You have started. You are religiously looking at something new which you have started. Okay, which you announced, in fact. Maybe you didn't start it yet. But you announce it. I will study this. I will do that. I'll start this business. You see what I'm saying? You said that already. With three of wands, with page of pentacles, there's news, there's uh, um, revelation, there's announcement. You said it. Maybe because of this news, maybe news came from somebody else, from some outer source. Still the same effect. Okay, you are now ready to begin with something which you were doing, which you will be doing for the first time in your life. Okay, but you were so excited about it. No fear, no fear. If you need to learn, you learn. You will carry on with this. Whatever endeavor, project, whatever idea to learn to do, you'll continue with that because you are liking it, you are so excited about it. So much of excitement with this too about new things, new job, new, um, new some sort of subject which you will learn now, new, I don't know, skill which you will learn now. Hi Virgo. So, yeah, three of pentacles for your Monday. Not bad. It's very lovely energy. In fact, very young, but very exciting energy. You know, when you meet new people and you're doing nice things together, you've got common interests, you've got profession in common or hobby, okay? You are doing some sort of hobby together and you are enjoying it enormously. Something very practical that you do with this energy, which makes you very excited. This is, this, whatever that you do here, you like it and people are supposed to see it and to admire it. Very admirable energy, this Three of Pentacles. Might be that you're doing something around your home. Maybe, you, maybe you're decorating, you're painting. Um, maybe you're starting your own business to, to, you know, humor yourself. You've got your hobby. You used to do it for ages. Now you thought, oh, I might actually make some money out of it. And it works. It actually brings some money. Three of Pentacles might be a little bit of money which you have received for your job. Well done. Mostly promise and possibility for the future success with whatever that you are starting here, enjoying doing future success, kind of guaranteed if you continue with four of wands. We've got it. With four of wands, we've got just that. Four of wands is pairing it. And four of wands is about that. First, something established. But this is first phase. First phase is done successfully and you're very proud of yourself, you're liking it, you know, if you continue, 
you will make big success. This is an end goal. This is just the beginning. This is successful beginning. First stage of something, some project, something around your home, some career, some life, your relationship. That first stage is finished. Now you people gonna go to a higher level, your relationship, your business career. You can move on to, you can move further now towards your end goal to have a family, to have children, to make this business thrive, to bring serious money, not just this pocket money. You see what I'm saying? But it's successful beginning, very present here on Monday. Hi Libra. So Monday with Eight of Wands. Nice eight of wands, very intense energy, very creative energy, busy, being busy, communicating, um, preparing documents, kind of making to-do lists, being ready to um, to make something manifest. You know, these eight wands are all in the air, they will just now fall down, begin to grow. You see what I'm saying? Big preparation, intense preparation to create something, to make some growth. Very lovely. Might be exhausting, okay, with eight of wands. Oh, you can do things until late in the evening, until you finish, because it's so important, because you are excited about something new. This energy explodes out there with enthusiasm, with intention to create something. And it's paired with eight of cups. It seems to me that is a very important for you, two eights, okay, to leave something behind, to create something else, to change to change, to travel, to go to another place, to relocate, to do different type of job, to do different type of career. And you need this preparation to be done totally, to be done the way it's supposed to be done. Eight wands are all, you know, in one row. You have to do it in order. Like you have to first provide this document and then get this approval. And then you see what I'm saying? Some order is here, but you are doing it. Um, you are not questioning anything with this energy because it's of major importance for you. Something else is just about to begin to get alive. It's always expansive, okay? Always makes it bigger, better. And that's what you are after. That new, what you are creating, new career, new business, new place, okay? Supposed to be better, far better than that what you're leaving behind just now. You are leaving behind something which didn't satisfy you. You didn't really like it. Not completely. It's not that it was like nothing, but it wasn't exactly that what you wanted. You didn't find that emotional fulfillment, that happiness within that all, and you're leaving it. And you are so excited to go and to create something else, which will have that missing component, that emotional fulfillment, that happiness will have within that as well. That's your Monday. As I said, might be exhausting Monday. Hi, Scorpio. So Monday the 29th of July and there is beautiful Empress for you could be your mother on Monday that you have to do something with your mother I'm gonna pair it now to see it a bit more specific but anyway in general it's all Venusian energy it's about love it's about the mother um, it's about your home it's about your comfort it's about you enjoying your life right now perhaps it's about having plans for your future you see what i'm saying planning something for another maybe 20 years how you're gonna live your life um, will you have children will you buy a house um, might be also something like that in general with this energy. But anyhow, it's all about love. You know, things you love, things you enjoy, whether your children or your home or you yourself or your business. And there is a four of pentacles pairing it. Okay, it is about safety, stability. It is about you being able, okay, to pay your bills, to take care of yourself. That was very important for you. From this point, perhaps, you do have plans for your future, sitting on that stability, security, that what you have right now. Something you did achieve already. If it's about money, it's not big money, but you do have something, okay, to take care of yourself. Some stability you do have, whether that you are taking care of yourself, you are earning it, or somebody else is providing. With the Empress could also be something like that. Things are simply provided to you. 
Anyhow, stability, security, safety, you do have. You don't have to worry about paying your bills. Will you have enough? Will you have for your food? No, this is the energy which enjoys the moment with plans, with plans for the future. This one is not really expansive energy. It's usually something contractive, okay, being scared not to lose because it's very basic, you don't want to lose your basic money which pays your bill, okay, buys the food, no, that you don't want to lose it, that is the feeling, this is important, I cannot lose, but I would love to grow bigger than that, I would like to have more than that, in that sense, perhaps you do have idea, you do have plans, okay, how you gonna have more than that, okay, that basic could be that you need to support your mother or person which is, you know, like your mother, uh, maybe your grandmother or so. It's not about big money, all right? You can afford it and you are planning. You will, in fact, do that here on Monday. You might support somebody else with a little bit of money. It's not much, but perhaps it means a lot to that. Another one could also be something like that here on Monday. Hi, Sagittarius. So you're Monday the 29th of July with the moon. Major Arcana moon might mean just that moon. <laughs> okay, pay attention to the full moon, a new moon or something. It could mean something shady. Okay, something which you do not understand. You cannot, you cannot see it clearly. Something which you just feel around yourself, but you cannot say for sure. Okay, could be some sort of complexity of sort of situation you found yourself in and you still cannot grasp all the details or so all the way through um, might mean something like that as well and it's paired with page of pentacles and perhaps it's just that last what I told you that you cannot grasp all the details about something new could be something which you are learning right now, could be something, just a situation around you which you cannot comprehend completely. Yeah, you like it, you see it in general and you love it, okay? You would love to do that, okay? And you've got that on your mind. Now, details, now perhaps you are lacking details here. You are lacking possibility maybe to go after that skill, these studies, uh, this profession, this employment, you see what I'm saying? Maybe also that you are expecting some sort of news, you're expecting information, you're expecting later from the government, from some government institution, from the university, from somebody, from your company. Maybe you are expecting some sort of news and it doesn't arrive, okay? It's not a day yet and you don't know exactly when will arrive. Could also be something like that. But surely the moon energy out there is energy dark. It's not visible yet. Perhaps sleep it over, okay? And let's see from Tuesday. <laughs> Hi, Capricorn. So, Capricorn... Your Monday with a Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful, very suitable energy for you. That's you, Capricorn. Very youthful, but steady. Okay, this uh, a night, every night brings some change, okay? But this one is steadily going towards that change. It's not kind of rapid change. Now, today, I will do it completely different. No, you will work towards that different. You will work towards that, I don't know, what is goal out there? To earn some money, to complete the project, to something. You see what I'm saying? This is very dedicated energy, dedicated to that goal, to earn money, to complete this project, to fix the garage, to, um, I don't know, do something. Practical energy, doing something. Simply hard working energy. What is the task at hand? I will take it and I will do it, bring it to an end to be successful, to have money on account, to something, whatever that goal is. As I said, very, very suitable for you. No rush, even, you know, a little bit boring energy, Knight of Pentacles, because this is energy 
in the routine already, knows everything. It's just step by step, a boring, quiet, to an end, to finish it, to complete it, to get that money. And there is Knight of Cups, two knights. Definitely you like that what you do, okay? Um, definitely you see something very lovely, okay? Knight of Cups is now different emotional energy. It says, yeah, that what you do, you are doing steadily. You are in your full power. And no doubt you're not going to rush, not for a second, you know exactly what you're supposed to do, and you are following rules, regulations, you following things every step of the way as it's supposed to be, and you will get that, okay, but that, but that what you're supposed to get is a something which will make you happy, which perhaps supposed to bring something for your future, something exciting, some celebration, something which you will celebrate later. You see what I'm saying? This, what you do, or you will celebrate. You will be very happy once you complete this. Even though it's a regular job for you, something which you normally do, you, you can do it in closed eyes. Okay, you can do it and bring it to an end. But still, that end supposed to make you happy. This project or this job, simply job at hand, will make you happy once it's finished. Maybe means something for the future as well. Okay, this Knight of Cups might indicate things like that as well here on Monday. Hey, Aquarius. So Aquarius. Eight of Cups for you on Monday. Looks, um, look, Eight of Cups turns back to something. Okay, whether that's you know, life in general, relationship which you did have, um, employment, bank you used to put your money in. You see what I'm saying? You are turning back to something because it, it's you're not completely satisfied with that. It, it did a job, okay? Some job, something you did have, but it didn't have everything, okay? You were not happy there. People were not kind. That workplace, yes, it was big salary, but the environment was horrible. You see what I'm saying? You are leaving something behind because you couldn't find really emotional fulfillment that, that satisfaction that pleasure with that job career people um, so a um, decision to leave it behind with eight of cups you still do not know it or, or it's not important right now on Monday where you are heading what will replace that what you are leaving behind you still don't know or you don't care to know right now it's important today that what you are leaving behind. Full concentration to leave it, finally. Okay, um, it's paired with Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you do have something, surely. With Seven of Pentacles, something is a certain day, and it's not enough. You want to move on with your knowledge, like like... You know that you have knowledge and you do have skill. Maybe you speak foreign language. You've got your qualities and that is your seven of pentacles. That is something within you. Maybe you do have money. Maybe your savings. Okay, this is material thing, useful thing which you are having. And there it is within you. That is the reason why you're leaving behind that place where you were, that employment. You see what I'm saying? Because that what you have perhaps can bring you more with that qualities which you are having, with that um, useful thing, that machinery, that investment, that uh, uh, money, that savings which you are having. You can do better than what you do here. In this bank, you can get better interest, okay? If you just put your money in another bank, you can uh, um, get a better salary because you are overqualified for that job. You'll get a better job, you'll get better pay. You see what I'm saying? You've got much more to offer. You can get much more with that, what you have already, than what you are getting here right now, what you used to get there. Hi, Pisces. So Pisces, the sun for you, beautiful sun energy for you. Uh, look, everything nice, <laughs> good health, vitality, new prosperous project, new great idea, new some sort of enlightenment, warm, sunny day, joy, children, <laughs> what I'm saying, all nice with the sun energy. It's a major arcana, so I'm going to pair it immediately. So we'll know what is going on to specify a little bit. And you do have Knight of Cups. That's you. Okay. 
some some sort of good day, happy day. Perhaps you did receive some sort of news, okay, maybe even last week, and begins to happen. Something very promising. Today, on Monday, you've got something very promising. You feel so good about yourself, about what is in front of you, about perhaps prospects for your next 20 years, okay, in your life, whether private life, relationship, or business, or career, but prospect is fantastic. Something began already. Already there is something on your mind you are very happy with it you know this knight of cups this is your energy you artistic self happy self marching towards happier times expecting it you know you will celebrate you know you will be happy you know it will be something today is just like that something is going to happen there and I know you know it today perhaps there is something concrete already something was born here already okay with the sun energy and that will grow that will develop that what you trust will bring you happiness will bring you joy will bring success that sort of you've got some sort of roots for your prosperity and you know this growth is guaranteed very happy very lovely um, energy for you here on Monday.